So besides uh, using Twitter cards, there's also Facebook, which uses Open Graph. And within the same website here, the web code tools, there's an open graph generator. And essentially it's gonna create meta information in this type of format. Uh, so if you do have a Facebook app ID, uh, you can connect that here as well. So even though it's not 100% necessary, but it does give you a, some added information within your analytics. So if you do have that ID, it always is a good idea. And if you are creating a website, um, you should go ahead and create an app for it. Uh, so creating an app on Facebook is fairly straightforward. Uh, you'd have to sign up as a developer. And in order to do that, you just go to developers.facebook.com. And from there, if you don't have a Facebook account, uh, you can create one, uh, or you could just log into your account and then go through and go to My Apps. And from here, you have ability to create a brand new application. Uh, and then that way, you get that app ID that you could throw in to your Facebook app generator. So again, similar to what we did with the Twitter cards, uh, we've got our open graph generator. So here we are just doing, uh, we've got an option for a title, we've got an option for a site name, and a URL, description, app ID, and then as well we've got a type. And as you can see here with Facebook, there's a whole bunch of different types. Uh, so here at the bottom is website. So if you do have a website, uh, you can, uh, and that shareable content is gonna be website. You can do that there, or if you've got articles, article information, you could select article. So again, picking out the different type, uh, so depending on the content that you wanna be um, entering into the open graph and be able to be readable by the open graph properties, meta properties, pick out the correct type that you wanna use. So I'm just gonna stick with website. And when you go to the website uh, sharing best practices for websites, they've got a whole bunch more information here about how the open graph works and how Facebook interacts with it. So they've got the Facebook crawler there to uh, fetches content from your site and generates a pe preview for people. Uh, so someone shares the URL on Facebook, lights or recommends a page on your site using a plugin, it activates the Facebook crawler. And if your content is available, uh, they're able to access it and crawl that content. Uh, so this is always really good for growth on your website and the ability to share and expand your website reach. Uh, so here we've got uh, use of proper open graph tags and uh, some more additional information on open graph tags and uh, what the crawler picks up. And we're also going to be using OG tags for Google and for other social sharing applications. Uh, so the good thing about OG tags over Twitter, it's not really specific um, just to Facebook. Uh, so other sites are also going to be using these OG tags. So really you don't have to include um, a whole bunch of different types of tags from every social site you're going to be using. So that's definitely a good thing. And again, OG is more universal than uh, just the Twitter uh, card information would be. Uh, so here we've got example of a clear title. So just make sure that um, you got a title, but you're not mentioning the branding or the domain itself. So down here, they do have some bad examples. So when you do mention that domain in your title, that's not really a good way to, to go about doing that. Uh, as well here we have uh, the URL, so the URL for this article. And uh, again, this is the proper way to do it. And I believe down here they have um, some, some ways that are bad examples. Uh, so again, for the URL, this is a, a bad example when you've got these uh, non-SEO friendly type URLs. Uh, again, description, uh, so this doesn't really entice users, whereas something like this, a nice long description, uh, they recommend at least two sentences long uh, for the description. So again, uh, these are some really good tips. And again, uh, if you have that ID, you could enter in that there. And this helps tie your website into Facebook 
and helps them better utilize your website with that ID and hold information on the website. So if, if they don't have an ID set, uh, they usually do set a default ID for the website uh, in order to store that information in regards to your website. Uh, and then again, we've got some object types here. Uh, we've got some localization. So if you did have some uh, translation information, if it was uh, translated, uh, you've got some other options here for the content. And then we've got, of course, the author. Uh, we've got a publisher. And then all of the bad examples. And again, uh, some more tips here to optimize your images and some image information. So I'm not gonna be going through all of these. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, getting out um, better content within your OG tags, uh, you can take a look through this article. We're gonna be sharing the link within uh, the resource section of this course as well. So yes, yeah, so once this is generated, then go back to your web page content and you can copy and paste that same generated content in there. And also I do advise adding in that image ORG or OG tag. And simply that's just OG colon image and then content and then with the image URL. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of it's similar to what we did in the Twitter card, uh, but it is always a good idea to include both. And if you're not, uh, if you don't want to include Twitter, uh, I mean, OG is better to include than Twitter, uh, but best practice is always to include both. And as you can see, when you do go out to the website, there actually is uh, no difference in the web content because again, this is all metadata and it's just here contained here at the top. Uh, so this gets read through the browser and other applications that are connecting to this website and this web content and it helps them read that content a little bit better. So if you go to developers.facebook.com tools debug OG object, you can enter in a URL and just do a fetch and you scrape information or scrape that information and here you can get some uh, feedback about how your OG tags, if you've implemented them properly. And if you do have any errors or issues with your OG tags, you're gonna get this uh, little box here that will tell you what, uh, what should be updated within your open graph. So once you, going back to the code, so once you've set up your meta information, you can begin now using it uh, for sharing on social platforms.